Hey y'all, it's Anime Caveman. Today I'm going to be reading the 15th episode of Tokyo Glory. And the episode was shit. Alright, done. I'm just kidding. The, I mean, the episode was still shit, but let me explain why. This episode... Does Perion even care anymore? I mean, at this point, the animation has gone so bad, I have literally seen better animation from Eddie's hentai. And I shit you not. Just look at a few episodes of Cream Lemon from the 80s. And that shit is better animated than this piece of garbage turd. And good lord, they go all the way in budget saving mode. Literally, blashing blue lights whenever Kurano's cut. Blashing blue lights again whenever Kurano's cut. Little shitty ass whenever, um... These spikes are thrown at people. They they don't even they don't even try to do dodge animation anymore. It's just like a slight move to like one side. Really, some of the laziest ass animation I've seen from an anime production. Speaking of which, this episode was a fucking overload of anime of information. It introduced this dude called Kana, who apparently experimented on Takizawa. And that's why he's a ghoul, and they tried to make, like, their own version of Kaneki. And then he also experimented on fucking Kurano, and all this information was given out in the same episode. Then Hoji apparently killed... It was revealed that he actually killed Tatara's brother, and that's why Tatara is pissed, and he tried to kill Hoji, and then the anime just quickly skips over that fight. Making it have no weight because it had, I mean, you had interesting build up. Then most of the battles fucking off screen, kind of taking away any type of emotional weight. But then again, the anime didn't even bother fleshing out Hoji, so I was like, mm, okay, fight, cool, cool. Then there's this fucking dude that had like um, his face scarred, and apparently they tried to make it emotional that he died. But then I was like. I mean, I, I, I don't fucking care. So many fucking characters that don't have fleshing out. And the anime thinks we're going to care, but I, I don't because they didn't even bother spending time with them in Tokyo Go or Tokyo Go Route A or Tokyo Go Race Season 1. So, seriously, there was just fucking too many events. And then Mutsuki's still on the ground being choked. I mean, I'm curious to see why, how, how did she end up there in that situation? How did she get split up from the Queen squad? I mean, we don't even get a flashback of that. I think that would have been infinitely more interesting than some of the other shit in this episode. And apparently Queen squad has new members too, out of nowhere. I mean, um, Tokyo Ghoul Re Season 1 emphasized the family dynamic. We got to at least... No Psycho's personality, Shirazu, and um, Udi, to a good extent. Emphasizing the quirks and all that. And then we're introduced to a fucking clusterfuck of new characters in the Quink Squad that we don't even know. They're just like, here, here. Oh, we'll make one of these chicks hot so that the anime fans won't ask too many questions. And, and, that, and that's it. They're just to their background decorations kind of sad because I really liked Judy and Psycho I mean I thought they were fucking cool but I guess Perion doesn't give a shit oh, fuck I don't even feel like streaming anymore I mean I'm, I'm I'm seriously sick and tired of this fucking anime I'm pretty sure some of y'all are probably sick and tired of fucking seeing me bitching about this anime but come on at this point I'm this is indefensible. I ain't gonna fucking suck Periot's fucking dick. I'm not gonna dick ride them. I mean, I'm calling it how it is. They did better shit in the fucking 80s and 90s. They made freaking Yu Yu Hakusho. Fucking Naruto, even though I had a lot of filler, was competently handled well. It covered everything. And then this show fucking... It's incoherent for the most part, so there's that. Um, 
was there anything good about the episode? Well, there was a cool song near the end, I guess. I mean, that was that was nice. Um, um, oh, a mom came back. I mean, that was pretty cool. It saved Akira. I mean, I liked that, although it was random as fuck, though, when um, Takizawa showed up and rescued Hoji and Akira. Then Hoji's like, we gotta eliminate you. And then Hoji just dies off screen and... Then Amon saves Akira. I mean, it would have been cool to get some kind of confrontation, maybe, to see Takizawa's rage as um, the person that he saved wants to kill him, maybe. But then I was just like, nope, let's just skip any bit of emotional development or possibly emotional moments and fuck it. Let's just go, 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 rush, 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 rush. That's pretty much what this anime is. It should be called Tokyo Go Rush. Because it ain't doing anything right. Um, except for the music and the voice acting. I mean, it's all great. I mean, what what rating should I give this episode? I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 10. It was that fucking awful. If it wasn't for that new track near the end of the episode, this episode would probably get a 2 out of 10. Because, and then if, it, if a mom didn't show up, it'd get a 1 out of 10. So, really, that's that's all I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to give this episode, and honestly, y'all can just dislike this video, like it. Uh, you can subscribe if you want to. I mean, and if one of you guys says, why don't you read the manga? Well, I'm, I'm fucking reviewing the anime. I ain't... This... This... If... This is not a manga review. This is an anime review. I gotta emphasize that because I know some of y'all understand that. But when I made the Rabbit Caveman channel, there were no, there was a lot of people that did not, that don't understand that. So every single video, I'm I gotta mention that just in case because y'all y'all know how the anime community is sometimes. But uh, I'll see you guys next week because I mean. There's only, what, like, what, maybe nine episodes left, so I'm getting the one more. It's way too late for me to drop this. I'm going to finish this up, this anime off. Ah, uh, bye-bye.